Welcome back guys to my channel and if you have not been here before my name is Justice and yeah so basically today I know I look a little rough but I'm washing my hair for you guys today this is all we're working with let me show you yeah so I'm not used to doing my regular hair routine um I'll make a video about that later on but a company named Queen Sugarine sent me some products I'll put all the information down below um, they sent me, let's show you, let me show you everything they sent me. They sent me some eyelashes. I haven't used like eyelashes, like especially really long eyelashes in a while. So we'll see how that goes, okay? They sent me, I'm doing the little things first, okay? Before I get into the goodness. They sent me three face masks. This one's like a child's one, but I, I use these too. It's a blue, like white design on there. This one's a cheetah print, cheetah girls. <laughs> And then this one is a butterfly one. And I think my little cousin is going to take it from me. And then they sent me like two of these little black combs. I actually use these all the time to do my edges sometimes. So. Okay, so to the goodness. This sent me a hair butter. Right? Okay. But you're missing it. You're missing it. Missing it, Miss Girl. Let me tell you what all they have in here. The products. They said ingredients. Shea butter. Right off the back. You know shea butter is good for the hair. Coconut oil, cocoa butter, olive oil, grapeseed oil, castor oil. Don't count how many times it's oil. Um, peppermint oil, jojoba oil, carrot oil, black castor oil, sweet almond oil, rose oil, argan oil. Okay? It says, here comes first. If you go from top to bottom, we keep our promises. We promise to make your hair smile. You can feel your hair smiling. Do you want your hair happy? Happy hair is happy you. Okay? So, so far, they have me and, like, the packaging. They came, it came with some nice packaging, little confetti stuff, roses. And just from the ingredients, you don't already notice it's something a, a little thicker. It's not on one side because I had it leaning. I had it in my room for a couple of days before I opened it, guys, because I was waiting to get, like, a full reaction when I took out my braids and everything. This, sorry, I'm a little sick. This is what I'm, like really like hesitant about like the lighting okay i don't know i don't think that made it better there we go okay so it's a hair curling custard i love different hair curling custards this is the first one that i use that's so like thin i don't know and it said it has natural black dye in it so i don't know how that's gonna look on my red hair but we're gonna see um so yes so along with that, they sent me this oil. I'm really excited about this oil. It's a hair growth oil. Queen Sugarine hair growth oil. Homemade, okay? So the packaging is so cute. I don't know. I just really like to see little bottles of this. And they have little, what is this, like rose gold or chrome finish? I don't know. So the oil includes basically almost everything that the, sh the butter includes as well. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um... So, to go with that, I will be washing my hair with my usual shampoo. I do use a shampoo called Just For Me. It's a kid's line. I used to use a line called Camille Rose. That was at the time I was trying to get my hair to grow and all that. And that does work as well. This also works for me and it's cheaper. And it's just com more convenient for me to find on my island everywhere. So, it's Just For Me. The shampoo, it's a sulfur, sulfate-free moisturizing soft shampoo it has co coconut milk shea butter vitamin e and sunflower oil it cleanses without dryness it says that is pretty true um and a conditioner has everything in there and nourishes for softness and a bounce i don't know about all that but yeah let's go so i guess let's go see me wash my hair again this is not my regular hair routine i'll post one later but little insight i'm moving so everything that i have like the main product that i use for my hair for it to be curly and stuff is already shipped and sent up there and i'm not going to buy any new stuff right now because i'm literally leaving on saturday and today is currently sunday so i have less than a week before i leave and i'm going to iowa first but i'm actually moving to florida guys so yeah for college be happy for me so yeah
So you know first, to wash your hair, you have to rinse out everything, get it all wet. So this is what I'm doing now. Yes, I have on a sports bra because, you know, we don't want this video to get taken down. Um, yeah, not it. Look at all that, ew. Um, because my hair is maroon, the water sometimes is like a pinkish color. Yes, that just happens. Oh, length, period, girl. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, do a little happy dance. Um, my hair is pretty tangled, so I'm going to come with my detangling brush. I got this from a local hair store on my island called Miss Naturalista. You can check your store for one. It's great because when you like rake through your hair, it separates, so it gives it like an easier comb. So you can try that. I always make sure you stuff. Well, I stuff from the roots of my hair all the time. Yes, I use a lot of shampoo only because I had my hair in braids and then gel and all of that. So make sure you get a good lather going. Um, if you notice, I'm not scrubbing my hair with like the pointy part of my nails. It's the flat part to get a good scrub in there and to not be too rough with your scalp. So I use water and rinse it down a little bit so I can get to the tips of my hair. Yes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Yes, Miss Girl. So now we're rinsing out all the shampoo. Try to get all of it out. When you don't, it's a disaster. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Look at that length. Yes, Miss Girl. Make sure you get the roots perfect on the back of your hair. Now time to condition. I know this is a long process, but I always section my hair off when I condition it. I am finger detangling. Usually when my hair is more knotted, I would comb it out with the comb again. But my fingers are working fine, so that's what I do. I make sure I put a good amount to cover my entire hair. Ew, nuts. So I think I did about four or five sections. That's about how much I do all the time. See, I'm just raking through and separating. So boom, I finished both sides of my hair. Now I'm going to take the comb and just run it through one last time. As you can see, it's not a lot of tugging because I already did it with my fingers before. But it's just to just make sure everything is smooth. Oh yes, curls pop in. And do your happy dance, not because I'm happy, but because this process is finally almost over. Um, as you can see here, I started to wash my rings up my hair with hot water. I need to do it with cold water. Try to get all the conditioner out as possible. Yes, get all of it out. That's what I'm doing. So Miss Girl started to dry already. Um, I'm gonna just use my regular leave-in conditioner. It's um Camille Rose <clears throat> coconut water leave-in. Nadine, why are you my <laughs> this is my cousin Nadine? Um detangling hair treatment. That's a leave-in conditioner. So I just go like this basically, and then I just like put my girl. Guys, I don't know. This is what I do to my hair. I am not a professional hairstylist. This is just what I do. And it's just what works for me personally. As you can see, I didn't put a lot. Usually when I'm not using other products, I put a little bit more. But it's something light. And it looks like the thing that I'm going to be using is a little heavier. So yeah. So now we're going in with their hair butter. So this is the side without it, and I'm going to do this side with it. So this is the product. I need to dim the light a little bit. That's why I've never used a product that's so thick before, guys. Hmm. Smells good. My little cousin soon smells like chocolate. To me, it just smells like cocoa butter and stuff. Okay, it's thick. Let's see. Let's see. Put a massage her in. She said it's good on the scalp too, so let's put some on the scalp. This is something thick, so meaning less is more, definitely. This is not a product for defining curls. I must say that my hair does feel very moisturized. I can't see myself using this to like twist my hair. I think it would be like a nice moisturizer to use to twist hair. It is very nice. I will be packing this. And I think I will be ordering from them again. Well, this was not order. This was like a gift. But I think I will be ordering this from them when it runs out to twist my hair. It just looks straight right now because my hair is a little wet. But I'm going to leave this one in. I'm going to leave that in so we can see how that turns out. I'm going to do it a little bigger so we can see how that turns out. There. 
um, C. It's pretty heavy right now. And then on this side, let's try this curl cream. Let's see. It's not curl cream. It's a hair curler, hair curling custard. It left, it put instruction. Wash on rings here, dry on detangle here. Section part size into adequate sizes. Um, apply hair oils into scalp. Apply hair curling custard into here. Comb through section here and watch the natural curls come. Okay, let's see. Let's use the oil as they said. But I usually put oil at the end. Like when my hair already has in whatever curling cream I'm going to use and it is already dry. That's when I put oil. Unless I'm blow drying my hair, I put it before and after. My hands are slippery. Ooh, look at some oil action, guys. Look at that. It's pretty to me. Let's suck some up. Okay. I'm not putting a lot. This is a small section we're doing. But I like this little drop thing. I've never had an oil that I use that kind of drop. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay. She's in there. So it has a little bit more. Let's just put it all in. When you put in oil, guys, make sure you really rub it in there. That helps. Well, that helps me. She said detangle the hair. It's not really my detangling comb, but I have this one. She's pretty much detangled from the shower. But we just gotta make sure any little knots are out. Okay. So my only fear with this is that she said it contains a natural black dye. And it kind of A natural black dye, so like... It's black, basically, guys. Like, it's kind of like a bluish black color. So I feel like it's going to turn my hair kind of black. And you guys can see, like, my hair has, like, a red tone to it because I've been dyeing it. I do see some curls coming. Is it going to leave my hair black? I think so. Does my hair look black here? Yeah, it's going to leave my hair black, guys. Let's try some finger coils in and, here. You know, when you put it in your hand, it looks purple. Yeah, when I put it in my hand, it looks purple. Let's try a finger coil. Oh! okay so i think i know what we're gonna be doing some finger coils throughout my entire head um some people on my tiktok were asking how i do that i usually don't use this product but let's use this product and see i haven't even checked out the prices of her products so we'll see but she gives pretty big jars of product but this is really how i get those curls that i do i usually do bigger sections in this but i just do that and then when I'm done, they're all like floppy and disgusting looking and like in my face like this long. Then I wake up and they're dry, but they're like really short. And then I pick it out and then over the days it gets better. So I think that's what we're going to do. So the voiceover is back because it was late at night and I was talking soft. But yeah, we have the front and kind of like the top section of my hair to do. Okay, the curls. We're going to spray it with water to get everything damped and we're going to comb through everything to detangle here we go again with the product yeah the black product curling custard rake through it this is how i usually do everything in my hair i rake through it first and i'm starting some finger coils so i start from the root of my hair and i twist going downwards some people do this method with a comb as well but i just use my finger and i do it all coming in front of my face because when it dries that's how i want it to land don't worry about it being in front of your face. You can push it to the side and separate it so you can see. And it will give you the same results. So this is Miss Girl right now. So I will update you guys in the morning. We'll see if all of this was worth it. Okay, so this is how Miss Girl came out. Um, it gave more like a crisp, it was kind of like crunchy, but then I just put the oil in it that they gave me. I run it through my hands and then I rake my hair through it. So yeah, you can definitely use this for like your curls and whatnot. I honestly feel like I didn't need to finger coil it because a lot of the sections that I didn't finger coil still came out good. Um, the pieces in front of my hair are so long, like in front of my eyes are so long because I don't have bangs. I just put like a bobby pin there. So, yeah, but if you have bangs, it'll be perfect hair stuff for you. Um, usually I put gel like in the middle, like part it and then put gel on both sides, but I'm running late. So, yeah, kisses, earrings. Oh, 
And thank you to all of you guys who came on here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and put on the bell if you want to know when I post. Um, I'm going to put all of their information down below and all of my information in the flow link. And if you're not following me, following me on TikTok, follow me because that's where it's all at, Miss Girl. Or Miss Guy, whatever you are. Bye. So these are just some clips on my hair. That's it. Bye. Love you all. Ooh, that was so cute. Period. This is like day three.